Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to line this crochet bag. It's just a small circle bag. Um, you will need some fabric, some thread, some scissors to cut the fabric, some pins, and also a needle for your thread. So here I have some fabric, uh, just some cotton fabric. You can use whatever you want, uh, whatever you have left, or you could go out and buy some fabric if you'd like. But I'm going to fold this over because we are going to want two pieces for the lining. So I'm going to fold it in half and then lay my bag on top. And I'm trying to be conscious of where I'm cutting this. So I'm going to move it over a little bit so I don't have um, too much excess or waste. So I'm just going to lay my bag out like this. Again, this fabric is doubled over, and then I'm going to take a pen or whatever writing utensil you have, and I'm going to trace my bag. I'm going to leave about half an inch outside of the circle. So I'm just going to trace it around like that, and then I'm going to use my scissors cutting through both layers. I'm just going to cut this circle out. So here are my two pieces cut out. Make sure your fabric um, is facing each other, the front, the front side is facing each other. And then since this is a circle uh, opening, it's not easy to tell where the opening is going to be or where I'm going to stop sewing to leave that hole. So I am going to lay my bag down again and then mark roughly where these openings are. So what we're going to do is sew the lining together and then leave this open for the bag. So if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't need one. Um, obviously, it will be a lot quicker just to sew this on the machine, but this is a fairly small bag, so you can just use a needle and some thread, and I'll show you how to do that. So I cut a long piece of thread. I'm using black in hopes that you can see this. So I'm just going to thread my needle and cut a really long piece because you are going to double this up when you thread it. So basically, um, thread it and then fold it in half and then knot the end of it. Okay, and I like to knot it twice. And then you can use um, pins here to make sure everything is secure when you sew it around but you're basically going to start um, here so this is the opening we want to sew everything else so since we left about a half inch extra we are going to sew about a half inch in so we're basically going to bring our needle back and then front and this is called a running stitch so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to make it a bit even around so you don't have like big gaps and small gaps. Although honestly, no one is going to see it because it's going to be in your bag. But just don't um, try to make the stitches small enough so nothing's going to fall through into the lining. So if I made a gap like this big, uh, my chapstick might slip out and fall out of my lining. So just be mindful of that. Uh, don't make them too large. So we're basically going to do this all the way around. Pull it taut, but not too tight, because if you start pulling it tight, it will look um, like this, and that's not what we want. We want it to be flat. So go ahead and do your running stitch all the way around until you get to that second 
uh, marker so I am going to sew all the way around until I get to here leaving the opening open so I just finished um, sewing around and keeping the opening open as you can see I ran out of thread um, I was so close if that happens to you basically just knot it and then make another or thread another piece of thread onto your needle and then at the end I'm just going to knot it and then cut it off So we are going to keep this inside out uh, because when we open the bag, we, we want to see the inside. So we're basically just going to slip this into the bag. And you have to play around with it a little bit just to make sure the opening is where the opening is. And make sure it's in there and flat. So then you see when you open the bag, you will see the pretty side of the fabric. So now we are going to sew uh, the fabric onto the piece of crochet. So we are going to use pins to keep it in place before we do the sewing. Um, this makes it a lot easier uh, to sew the lining onto the piece of crochet. So make sure you have some pins. So we are going to flip one side of the fabric so open your fabric and then we are going to fold about a half of an inch of fabric down just like we did when we sewed around we left a half of an inch out so this is kind of what we're doing here we're leaving a half of an inch um, out and just so we get that pretty edge versus this um, cut raw edge. So line it up, make sure where your opening is matches your opening. Fold it down a little bit. Line it up to the edge of your crochet. Leave these top loops um, on top here. So don't don't go on top or anything like that. Make sure it's a little bit tucked under. And then once you're happy with your placement, go ahead and pin that little section. And then continue to fold about half an inch, working around the edge and pinning it down. So pinning it down makes it so much easier. I am not a sewer by any means, but when I would try to sew things, I would never use pins and I got so frustrated. Pinning is just, it makes your life so much easier. So I definitely recommend getting pins if you don't have any, even if it's just to do this lining. Um, you could get them like at the Dollar Tree or if you want to rig something else up and use something else to hold your fabric in place, I totally recommend it. So go ahead and pin it all the way around. This bag is fairly small, so I'm using about four to five pins per side. And just make sure you're grabbing the fabric, the folded down part behind there, and the crochet part. So here I have everything pinned up. Make sure to take your time when you're pinning around. It's probably going to take um, a little bit to get it just right, but once you have those pinned in place, then you can sew everything quite easily. So I am going to start at a corner. And I already threaded my needle. So I'm going to start at this corner here. And I'm going to go between the fabric and the crochet piece just so my tail part of the thread will fall in between there so I don't have to worry about it later. 
So there's my tail piece. It's just going to fall into um, that middle section and I can trim it later if it's in the way. So basically what I'm going to do is whip stitch this first stitch here. I'm going to take one part of it, the part closest to me, in between there, and then into the fabric. And I'm using black so you can see. I would probably use maybe like a mustard color or even a white. So go ahead and continue to just whip stitch all around. So since these stitches are pretty big, I'm doing about two uh, whip stitches, I guess you would say, around each crochet stitch and then through the fabric. And I'm just gonna try to keep like an even um, stitch. So here's my pin. I'm gonna remove that and then continue. You see that? I'm just grabbing one of those loops and then continue to whip stitch around. Uh, the reason I'm whip stitching this bag is because the stitches on the other side are fairly loose. If you have a tight stitch, say like a single crochet stitch, I would feel comfortable just doing a running stitch just like how we sewed the bag together. Just so you don't have the top portion showing the thread. Um, you could use a running stitch, but because my bag um, has a fairly loose stitch, this is really the only way to really secure it nicely without worrying about um, the lining falling out. So I'm just whip stitching about every two stitches for this bag. Again, if they were tighter stitches, I'd probably do a running stitch. And if they were even bigger stitches, um, I would maybe do three per stitch. So I'm just gonna do that all the way around. And then when I get back here, I'm just gonna knot it and then it should look like this. So here I used pink. You can see I just whip stitched all the way around, grabbing that inner uh, loop from the crochet pieces. And that's basically it. And then you have your lining in there. So I hope this was helpful and happy sewing.